why you're all here, to be honest. That's why I'm here. <laughs> so, so Johan um, from Quintor, he took this photo. Uh, this is very cool. Um, it says, get inspired and don't miss to have a lot of fun. Okay? I think that's very, very important uh, because that's what I do. That's what uh, uh, our, my guests do as well. And what happened is uh, two weeks ago at another conference at JFall, I saw this Raspberry Pi cluster um, in the hallways. And I was just mesmerized by it. I was looking at it for like an hour, okay? I'm like, wouldn't it be so nice if I can borrow it and put Kubernetes on it? Because you saw how that works. So it'd be really nice to have it. So I talked to uh, the people who actually created the cluster and I convinced them to put the Kubernetes on it. And uh, joining me on stage right now is Argen. Argen, please come up. Yeah, thank and you, Ray. Argen actually is the person and his team built this cluster. Argen, could you please tell me more about yourself and uh, yeah. what you have built here? So, uh, I'm Argen Rossing. I'm a uh, Java architect, team lead, and uh, coder of After All at uh, uh, Quintor. We're a Dutch company mainly focused on software development. And uh, yeah, I've stated in uh, uh, JPOL, we had a, this uh, mini cluster we were talking about on, on JPOL. Of, uh, uh, of cluster software running the Docker uh, stuff with uh, Mesos and Marathon. And what we thought is, hey, uh, wouldn't be nice to, to run such a thing on really bare metal, because that's actually what is happening on, uh, on the data center. So uh, uh, we wanted to do something with cheap hardware, and Raspberry Pi is quite uh, uh, cheap. So um, in two and a half weeks, me and some colleagues built this Raspberry Pi cluster before j and we were running Docker Swarm with it. Uh, then we ran into each other and sa said, okay, uh, next week DevOps, nice, cluster, nice, Kubernetes, can we combine it together? Yeah. So within one week, we, we needed to prep a, a demo, right? Uh, so last Tuesday, uh, Thursday, uh, and we managed. So it took us about three days to get Kubernetes running on the on Raspberry Pi. From very first time, you have never yeah. done this before. It's the no. very first time that they yeah. tried it. Yeah. So uh, that was really cool. Then we set two evenings, long evenings, to get the demo ready. And uh, here, uh, here we are also because yeah, it was really a lot of fun. And yeah. we wouldn't, yeah, we would really like to, uh, you to show yeah. what is happening here. So, so I'm very happy that uh, Arkin and his team actually are here today to be able to bring this to Morocco to show everyone what this looks like. Um, so Arkin, would you tell us about what you yeah. actually built here? Yeah, what, what have you built? We've taken uh, five Raspberry Pi uh, 2 Model B. Uh, they, they have a quad-core uh, 900 megahertz uh, ARM processor. They have one, one gig of RAM and uh, we, have, we put in a, a 16 gig uh, SD card for uh, the storage. Um, Hooked it all up um, using a, a network switch, a D-Link uh, D-Link switch, uh, so some net network cables, and uh, that's here on top. And at the bottom, we have a USB uh, power adapter, right? an anchor uh, power adapter, uh, and yeah, some nice nice white uh, cables to complete the whole set. So everything was white, so yeah, the cables should be white. So uh, we got it, uh, got it also. Uh, Cost about five hundred uh, dollars. Uh, yeah, we had five pies. You can do it with three or four. You can also make a, such a setup. So uh, yeah. And check this out because uh, it has the power hub. It also have the the network on the top, like a switch, and you connect all the computers to it. I mean, essentially, this is like what you see in a real data center, except this is like a micro data center uh, running microservices. Right? It's a very small data center. Um, so what did you actually install on one of these yeah. devices? So every uh, Raspberry Pi, we are running a hybrid OS on it. It's a, a Raspbian um, uh, distribution that contains also Docker and all Docker stuff. And that's really convenient because that we need as a basis. So uh, furthermore, what we have is running Flannel. Flannel is the networking layer uh, Kubernetes needs to be able to have each container uh, uh, one IP address uh, assigned, and that can also be um, uh, uh, used by the other uh, nodes. So every node is in, in, in a network bridge uh, using Flannel. Um, furthermore, uh, Kubernetes, we have uh, one master, that's the bottom one, 
and we have uh, uh, four nodes. So note, on top of that, node one, node two, node thru, uh, three, node four. And uh, <coughs> yeah, that's uh, basically it. Yeah, the master is also running some uh, uh, DHCP and, and DNS for, for name resolving. It's uh, really convenient. So uh, that's basically it. Okay. So I have the visualization for, pulled up right now. Um, we're gonna run a little bit over time, but uh, I think this is really nice for you to see because it's yeah. freaking awesome. So I have this visualization here. We have five nodes here. I mean, the first one is the master node, uh, if you can see it. Um, and then we have four, uh, four other nodes here. And you can see that the, I have the same visualization here um, where I'm saying, oh, here we go. So we have, you actually have microservices deployed on here, right? Yeah, it's yeah, a Java microservices. Yeah. Java microservices and uh, they're a Docker container, uh, plain Java uh, services. And uh, we have one stock, stock uh, by stock service, that's yeah. the top one here, and then uses a, uh, another one, the stock transaction service. And it's uh, nicely shown here. Yeah. So um, that's basically what we are running here. So. And I can actually hit this, the service for buy stock. Um, uh, you see here, Cube Secure Get uh, Services. Yeah. And uh, I can see the um, buy stock, which is this IP address. Uh, yeah. So I can do something like uh, port 7000. Yeah, we and we have uh, a check built in in the, in the, in the yeah. service, so we can check. So it's up and running. And then I can also scale okay. this as well. So I'm gonna scale the buy stock into uh, four replicas. And uh, we yeah. yeah, is that right? Yeah. 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 Okay. So. I see it. So remember, this is all running on the Raspberry Pi right now, and yep. we are able to do very similar things. And now two more yep. pods are being spun up. And you can see here um, on, the, on the slide here, you can see that some of the pod is running on the master, some pods is running on 02, 04, and 03. So you can see that the Kubernetes is scheduling these pods onto different nodes, which is really cool. Yeah, and they're really physical nodes yeah. here. Now, in the data center, uh, bad things happen from time to time. Uh, for example, I don't know if uh, anyone heard about uh, chaos monkeys or just uh, people go to the data center and uh, start pulling plugs. Anyone, anyone seen that happening before? Um, yeah, so, uh, so we thought, yeah. yeah, anyone yeah. want to see it? Yeah. Anyone want to pull the plug? Anyone? <laughs> don't be shy. Yes, yeah. all, right. all right, there we go, Sorry. very cool. So Anthony, thank let, you. Let's see. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait, hold on a second, you gotta pull the right one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Come, come to the side, come to the side, come to the side, yeah. So, so we got port 03, 04, 02. 02. So that's the master, that's 0, 1, that's 2, and 3, and 4. The so we can pull the 2. Yeah, the middle, yeah. The, yeah. yeah. That, one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Yeah. Wait. Oh, yeah, can you, yeah, he'll, so. No, no, yeah. So go ahead and pull it. Yeah, go ahead and pull it, yeah. Go for no, it, no, yeah, no. there we go, there we go. So what happens now is uh, Kubernetes is going to, uh, they do health checks on the nodes. So we configure it to pick up the, the failures in about 20 seconds or so. So in 20 seconds or so, you should be able to see 0 to uh, turn to red, that means the node has died. Yep, uh, there we go. And then the, the, the pod that's running on 0 2, in about two seconds or so, it should be replaced and scheduled somewhere else. Yeah. Didn't you apply the number one? Why the number one? Oh yeah, he unplugged number one. Well, yeah. Oh my God. Well then, let's do that. Um, let's unplug another one. Um, yeah. Number two. <laughs> is that the number two? All right, here we go. Let's not, let's unplug the power. No. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do the no. Yeah. <laughs> let's unplug the. Okay, here we go. Is that the wrong? Is that the real chaos monkey? Here? <laughs> how, how did you screw this uh, up? You uh, pulled the wrong one. Oh my God! I told you the wrong one. I'm sorry. So now we we not only don't have network, we don't have power because the power failure. Um, so hopefully the power there we yeah. go, and now we should see the pod being there. You yeah, go. Did you see that? <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Now yeah. so, this actually may happen to your data center because your power went out. Now what happens then is uh, you may have a what do you call it? U UPS, right? A, a power protector. And Armin has a battery in his <laughs> in there. And uh, oh, I pulled the wrong side, so uh, he's going yeah. to plug it into. Uh, into the power. We rehearsed this, but uh, I, I, still, I still screwed up. Yeah. So it's not plugging it back in, and uh, let's also plug back in the, uh, the, power, uh, the networking the cable. cable so. yeah. Pull that back. And so. again, in about 20 seconds or so, um, the node will be detected. It will register itself with the Kubernetes cluster, and then you can schedule pod onto those nodes again, which is really, really cool. 
So let's wait for it. Um, about, oh, come on, 20 seconds or so. Yeah, this is why happy ends a little yeah. bit. <laughs> <laughs> now you know this works, right? I mean, we. Uh -oh. Th oh, there we go. Yeah, yes. okay. That's <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this actually works. All right. And then uh, let's see if we scale it. Yeah. So what we want to see is that new bots are created on the nodes that were down. So I'm not spinning up hand so that we can actually see it. So, um, so RP1 is the uh, zero 01 is the one I came back. And uh, there we go. So we're scaling in all the pods. So there's zero 03, zero 04, and one, um, and, and such and such. Yeah, very yeah. cool. Yeah. Now, I'm not sure why two never came back up. Maybe it doesn't have enough power. But once it's up, it'll should be okay there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So what else can we do? Um, so uh, we have maybe just two more minutes left. Uh, we're going to do something even more daring. Uh, because we have four nodes that you can schedule your workload on. Um, but, but we only have one master. We only have one master. The master is the one that controls all of the nodes. So if we unplug the, ma the master, uh, I think that would be even more fun. Right? So <laughs> I don't think so. But no? Yeah. Well, please, yeah. un unplug the, the master as well. Yeah. Uh, let's do it. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll, we'll, oh, we'll so have the other node came back. Yeah, no, I don't know to come back. Yeah, so we're going to no. unplug the master. So what happens then is, uh, the only thing that will happen is uh, everything will still be running. Uh, all of your pods, all of your services will still be serving. It wouldn't be affected at all. The only thing that you lose is the ability to control your cluster via the Kubernetes master. So if you lose it for like a brief minute or so, that's not maybe okay. Um, so just to prove, you, prove to you that the master is gone, my SSH session is dead, okay? So I cannot do that anymore. What I can do is to uh, SSH into our, what is that, RPI01 maybe? Yeah, yeah root. And also, my visualizer is dead as well because um, uh, the master is down, so I cannot use my visualization anymore. And, oh, come on, why can't I not uh, SSH into it? Try to. Try to? Okay. I'll try to. No? I think my network. Uh, did you pull the power on the, on the hub? No. <laughs> no. Nope. No. Yeah. So yeah. So if we actually go into one of these uh, uh, networks, um, I don't know why I cannot connect to it right now. But um, what's that? Service DNS. Uh, oh yeah, it is the DNS. Yes, you're absolutely right. So do you know the IP address for the other two? No idea. Hundred forty-one. Hundred forty-one. All right. So uh, hundred forty-one. I don't know. Yeah. Well. So the master is down, unfortunately. But if I were to be able to get in there, ah, so close, then I can actually still hit my services, which is perfectly fine. Uh, the only thing that you lose control is the, the, the ability to say, uh, you need to scale out more parts, okay? So let's plug it back in, and um, let's continue on the slides. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, we're gonna close this out pretty quickly. So yeah, so I think that's all the demo that we have, uh, all the time that we had. And uh, thanks again for Argan and Quinter and his team to build this uh, awesome cluster uh, to show you how this works. So thanks, Argan. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so if you want to try out Kubernetes, uh, this is an open source project. You can actually go to your Kubernetes.io and just getting started. You can actually spin this up on your own computers or in your uh, the cloud provider of your choice. I done all of my um, demos today, uh, besides the Raspberry Pi, I done it on Google Container Engine, which is a managed service. What that means is all you have to do is to get an account and say, I need five nodes or three nodes, and just spin up and install Kubernetes for you. Uh, it's really, really easy to do. Um, and if you want to try this out for the first time, we actually give you a $300 credit uh, when you first sign up, and then you can use uh, the $300 in a 60-day free trial. So. Yeah, it's, uh, it's really nice. Um, please give it a try and check it out. So that's all I have today, and uh, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you.